Namaste everyone, I'm Claire and we're gonna do some yoga. Um, so all you need is just a hard surface. You don't even need a mat. Like if you're a total beginner, you don't even have a mat. If you have blocks, that's fine. If you don't, that's also totally fine. I'll try to do stuff that will be easy. You won't have to like modify with blocks for as much, um, just in case you don't have them. If this is like your first time trying to do yoga. Okay, so we'll start off with a downward dog pose. Now, downward dog, um, I see a lot of people when they're first doing yoga try to do this because they're trying to keep their legs straight. That's not what you want to do. What you actually would rather do is bend your knees if you have to. And then you want to keep your spine straight with your arms like that. So I don't care if it looks like this. Whatever you have to do to keep your spine and your arms straight. So you want to bend from here, not arch your back and reach down. It's not about your legs. It's about your spine and bending your spine and keeping your back and your arms lined up. So we're going to try to take this. Now I find it easier when you're first starting if you want to rock left and right. That can absolutely help. So you're probably gonna be tight in your hamstrings. It's my first downward dog of the day. <laughs> I'm pretty tight. We're just gonna stay here and breathe. Really rock into wherever you feel tightness in your hamstrings. Just rock into it. We're going to do a couple things to get your wrists nice and loose. Um, so start, clasp your hands and just go like this. And go the other way. Now we're going to put our hands on the mat like this. We're gonna rock left and right. Just rock. Don't rock too far. If your wrists are really sore, this might be a little harder than you might think. And we're gonna go forward and back. Just nicely loosening up those wrists. Okay. So we're gonna start with some sunrise salutations. So what we're gonna do is we're going to reach down to the ground. Now again, in this pose, I'd rather you bend your knees if you have to, or if you wanna use some blocks, that's completely fine. Um, so start arms to the ground. And we're gonna reach up with an inhale bring our arms to our chest and then we're gonna reach up go back bring your chest up towards the sky and breathe and we're gonna go back down and we're gonna inhale and we're gonna lift up halfway up our shins so we're gonna inhale exhale and come back down and then we're gonna inhale go all the way up Exhale, put your arms to your chest. Now when you're putting your arms to your chest, you're not just putting your arms to your chest. You're putting your arms to your chest, you're squeezing your tailbone in and really feeling it in your core. So it's not just standing with your arms like this. You're tightly pushing your hands together. You're tightening your core. You're pushing in your tailbone so that you can really feel it in your core as an exercise. We're gonna inhale. We're gonna put our arms back again and reach back. And exhale, come all the way back down. We're gonna do it two more times. All right, inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, come all the way up. I may have said halfway a second ago. And exhale, 
arms to your chest. Inhale all the way back. Arch your back, you wanna feel this in your thighs. It thighs for balance and then exhale. Back down, inhale, halfway up. Exhale down, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, all the way down. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, halfway up the shins. Exhale, down. Inhale, all the way up, straight. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach back, chest to the sky. You're feeling it in your thighs. And exhale, all the way back down. Good job, everybody. Now we're gonna take a plank pose. So that's just kind of like your arms are under your shoulders, a little bit out, a little bit farther than our shoulders width. And we're gonna sit here for a little while. Just kind of feel that in your arms. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called a chaturanga. So if you've never done a chaturanga before, that means that we're going to lower our bodies. We're gonna have our hands right next to where our chest is. So lay down, you've got your arms right where your chest is. So we're gonna go plank pose to chaturanga and then we're gonna go upward. And now we're gonna go back to chaturanga Plank pose, downward dog. Now we're gonna do this transition a couple different times. And it might be kind of hard if you wanna modify when you come down to chaturanga or plank pose, it's totally fine if you put your knees down. So you can put your knees down like this. Chaturanga, come out this way. Come back to chaturanga. Knees still down if you wanna modify. And then go up to upward dog or downward dog. It is completely fine if you need to modify. So I'm gonna do the unmodified version. So I'm gonna do plank pose, chaturanga, up, and breathing, putting my head back, really getting a nice arch in my back, and chaturanga, plank pose, downward dog. Plank pose, Chaturanga. Really looking back, chest open towards the sky. Chaturanga, downward dog. I'll do this a couple more times. Chaturanga, this way. Chaturanga, push yourself up into downward dog. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna do plank pose, chaturanga. Come on out. Chaturanga, push yourself up into downward dog. Okay. Now, I know that that may have been a lot if you've never done any yoga. Um, so now we're gonna keep it kind of simple. We're just gonna kind of wrap it up here. As if this is your first yoga class, that was a lot. Um, so now we're just gonna lay with our legs. Squeeze your legs into your chest. And just breathe and enjoy being here. We're gonna lower our left leg. Keep our right leg up to our chest. And then we're gonna lean our right leg to our left side over our left leg. If your knee touches, that's great. If your knee doesn't touch, that's fine. You're gonna take your right arm, so you've got your right leg over on your left side. We're gonna take our right arm and lay it down to the right and look at our right hand. So this is a pretty big stretch. If your knee is up like this, totally fine. Don't worry about it. As long as you're stretching, as long as you're feeling it somewhere, that's progress. It means that you're stretching. 
And when you stretch, you're actually breaking down your muscles and then they're healing back as longer pieces. Um, so every time that you stretch, you're stretching. <laughs> so now we're gonna bring our leg back up, bring both legs to the chest, put down our right leg, bring our left leg over, knee to the ground, and then we're gonna take our left arm, put it to the right, and look at it. Now, if you want, you can put your arm over your knee to push it down into the ground further. That is totally fine. If you're not there, if you're over here, also totally fine. Everybody's body is different. You'll only improve with practice. Okay. Now we're going to do our final pose. Put your legs back into your chest. We're going to put our legs on the ends of the mats, mat width apart. Just put your arms down. This is called Shavasana, final resting pose. We're just going to lay here. Just lay here and relax. Enjoy being. Just breathe. Focus on the breath. Take note how your body feels right now. Is it sore? If you feel yourself tensing up at all from soreness, just breathe and relax those parts of your body. Relax everything. Really take note to how your body feels right now. Just keep breathing. All right, you guys have finished maybe your first yoga class. It was pretty basic, pretty short, small and sweet. I'm gonna make a couple more of these, which are um, super short, little, pretty basic, easy, just kind of learn how to do yoga and learn how to do it correctly. And so I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.